Uh, good morning, everybody, uh, and welcome to AP World History Week 6. Uh, this week, we will be finishing up Unit 1. Uh, so let's head on over to our Google Classroom. All right, so I'm going to go to AP World History. Uh, here this week, we got a lot due, right? So we got Unit 1, Global Tapestry Vocabulary due. That was assigned a couple of weeks ago. Uh, same with the outlines assigned last week for the readings. Um, and you have to fill out your PDF of your outline with your page numbers when it comes to reading where you find your illustrative examples. Uh, we have a multiple choice question activity we'll be doing in class. If you're virtual, you're doing it on your own. And the same thing for the document thesis creation activity in class for ABs and virtuals. You guys are on your own for that, but you can always tune in live to class, hear the discussion and go through the answers with us together. Um, don't forget uh, about logging on. Uh, you can definitely do that uh, in person now. You just look at your Monday page on your weekly template uh, in order to uh, find your Google Meet links. All right, let's head on over to classwork. We're in week six. <clears throat> A couple things I want to touch on. Here's where you will submit your unit outlines. Uh, you can either submit them early or right on time on Sunday. Same with your vocabulary submissions, right? They would go here. Uh, your multiple choice question activity would be here under week six. Same with your document thesis creation activity. Let's take a look at our agenda for the week. All right, everything that's due by Sunday is right over here. Monday, there's our Google Meets uh, link. So if I click on that, it'll take me over to my AP World History link, which is 1049 to 1135. I would click there to join class live. Uh, again, being able to see what we're doing on the big board and then hearing everything that's taking place in class as far as discussion. Uh, we've got a warm up in class, which is the multiple choice question activity, which is this yellow button here. Again, if you're virtual, you'll be doing it on your own. That is due Sunday by 927. Uh, same with the, uh, the 1.2 facts and evidence activity. Uh, there it is right there. So we'll be dealing with that this week in class as well. There's your other thing that's due on Sunday uh, by 11.59 p.m. So Sunday, we would click on this, create your own copy, um, download it. Uh, we'll make it editable with a PDF. Um, so that's your documents right there. Again, your question is at the top. Using the documents, evaluate the extent to which the uh, attitudes of Christianity and Islam differed towards merchants and trade from 1200 until about 1500. You again are going to create um, a thesis statement for an essay that answers the question right there, right? So I'm creating a thesis statement. So pretty much I'm creating my first full paragraph uh, for an essay on exactly how um, to evaluate the extent to which the attitudes of Christianity and Islam differed toward merchants and trade from 1200 until about 1500. So using the five documents, create your first paragraph of your essay or your thesis statement on how you would best argue that point, all right? Um, lots of different things as far as maps again, right? We gotta be familiar with the Americas, um, with Dar al-Islam, we gotta be familiar with Africa. Um, and we'll be going over this stuff in class as far as activities to help reinforce this, but a lot of this is coming from your reading. So you guys need to make sure you're staying tuned in on that. Wednesday is your day again, focus in. Outlines filling out your page numbers from your reading on your illustrative examples and your vocab, right? All those are due on Sunday. B students come in on Thursday. We'll be going through the same activities together. Uh, we've got the multiple choice activity, the facts and evidence activity, um, and then your outlines and vocab. And then Friday, there it is again. You've got your uh, document thesis creation activity there, focusing again on outlines and vocab. All right, guys, it's a real quick uh, overview of the week. I think it's great that you guys can tune in live. I would make sure I'm taking advantage of that. And uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me or reach out on Google Classroom. Or again, ask those questions in the chat when you guys are joining live in class. Have a great day, guys.